Ooh, wow. This is gonna be my first ever overview of a product, but it's gonna be my first ever overview on this. And these are the app, the new Apple. Oh, sorry. This is these are sorry. These are the new AirPods Max from Apple, and uh, let us just tell you they blow. They blew my ex expectations in a lot of various ways. One is price, and the other is the actual sound quality and the build quality. So we're going to talk about this today, and hope you enjoy. All right. So first, first things first. We're going to do a quick little unboxing here i recorded this unboxing on christmas day so i'm going to show you it i'm just going to do a little quick voiceover of it um and this voiceover i might even look at the video so what i'm saying might not even match what's going on in the unboxing video but here you see me unboxing these headphones and this was a christmas present uh to myself <laughs> not really it was uh half of my family half to myself but um yeah so this was uh, this was my christmas gift and uh uh the first time i opened these up you can really tell that these are immediately out the box the build quality is like magnificent like, you can tell it is there's some weight to it and you can tell that it's very sub substantial which is not i'm not used to that with headphones you know i have other headphones most of them are plastic the last time i had a pair of aluminum headphones had to be some sony headphones a while back i don't know the name of them it was like the bt 950 something or 650 something i didn't have the over the air ones it was on the air but i think there were some type of aluminum maybe not as strong aluminum as the airpods max but it was something and uh so the, 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 out the but you can feel that build quiet and it was just like so amazing the headband everything was just take took me back in like my first ever uh seen it in person for the first time like seeing it in person you can see how good it looks but like videos did not do it justice, pictures did not do it justice. You had to see these in person to be like, wow, okay, these are actually look pretty nice. Like at first I thought these are kind of ugly when I saw the first leak. We know leaks always look kind of weird, so yeah, I couldn't base off of that alone. So, but yeah, I was definitely taken aback by how these look. So now, uh, so back to me, <laughs> and so that happened right here. This is a new setup, by the way. I'm trying something new here. Never tried this before. Either way. Um, these right here so now i'm going to talk about my first listen so i'm going to do a little bit of a comparison not a full in depth comparison because i actually have listened to my sony's xm4s for about maybe a week because i know i was going to get these and i didn't listen to them for a week i wanted to prep my ears for an, an initial listen to just these i didn't want to be biased to sony because i love my sony xm4s i love them so much those are probably my favorite headphones ever i showed them to you on the channel and i wanted to be completely unbiased towards it because i know i'll be like, this sound better so i didn't want to listen to them for a while i want to let my ears you know be ready to to take these in all the way and then listen to the xm4s again to see how what was that difference and Move. the first time I listened to these was actually Taylor Swift. I like that. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a Taylor, I'm a Taylor Swift fan, I'll be honest with you. I like her music. Um, no shame in that. <laughs> um, and the first time, uh, first time I listened to was Cardigan. And looking at my notes here, the first thing that took me by surprise when I listened to Cardigan, oh my gosh, when I tell you the vocals, the vocals on these, it's it's amazing like I, I i'm a when it comes to music for me the first the thing that has to stand out to me is vocals and i need my vocals to be very clear which is why i can't use cheap like cheap airpods that used to come in your uh these used to come in iphones i never used to like skull candies i don't like in air headphones at all because to me they just lack in quality versus over the air or on the air and besides like these airpods um but the vocals, when I told you it was clear, I never heard a clearer sound in headphones ever. Like, I'm being completely honest with you. I think maybe the closest thing that came to the sound was maybe the Neurophone, because Neurophones are very, very high tech for, for headphones. And it, it kind of, you don't really hear the music as the artist intended to. It kind of, you kind of hear the music to what your ears want, but it did have very crisp vocals. These, on the other hand, had amazing vocals and it was just like, it took me back because I just didn't expect to get that kind of sound, that, that sound quality from these headphones at, at all. And then after I listened to, uh, the first one I listened to was Cardigan. Then after that, I listened to uh, Exile by Bon Iver. And as soon as the song started, 
Bon Iver's vocals that was like, I keep talking about vocals, but vocals are just so important to me. And when Bon Iver uh, came on and started singing like immediately from the jump, I was like, yo, that was greatness. I was blasted with great. That's what I wrote down in my notes. I was blasted with greatness because I never heard such clear vocals. And immediately when I heard that, I thought back to when I first listened to that album with my Sony's and it was not the same. I, I have muscle memory in terms of music and listen to these headphones. Um, it wasn't the same. I, 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 I didn't do a direct comparison at that moment in time, but I knew from heart it was not the same. I, I just knew it because I'm not even trying to be biased towards Apple here. I love Sony as much as I love Apple. I probably love Sony even more than Apple. And these blew me away from the from the jump. And I, I was just shocked. Then after that, I listened to some Paramore. Paramore has been one of my favorite bands this year. If you look at my Spotify uh, Rewind, 90% of it is probably Paramore, which is kind of crazy to think how much I actually listen to them. And I still do. Going in 2021, I'm sure there's going to be even more. I, I, I'm feel, I have a feeling they're going to put, they're gonna put some new, new music this year. So there's going to be even more Paramore to listen to. But um, first song I listened to was Told You So on, on After Laughter. I never, there's, there's some parts in the beginning of the song that I, I, I'm being honest with you, I never heard before. Like, I don't know why I never heard before. Maybe it was muddled because it was more in the background and Sony, Sony headphones don't really have that kind of detail in the background. The music is more of a bass heavy headphone. I never heard that part of the song before. Not even on my speakers I heard that song before. This was the first time I heard that beginning of, of um, Told You So by Paramore. And when it's to pool, Pool has a lot of instruments in it, in it, and like at one time, it's just like a burst of different instruments. And I'm gonna be honest with you, when I heard that part, it was a bit muddy. Um, it didn't really feel as clear. All the instruments kind of blended together at one point, and it didn't feel like something that I couldn't pick apart each instrument. And that, that was disappointing to me to hear um, from these headphones as soon as it started. And that was a little bit of a downside, but that is not the worst part because. It gets better from here on out. My first song from Paramore is Idol Worship. And one of my favorite songs. And that, it just sounded great. It sounded, once again, it was clear. It sounded better than ever. Um, the um, like It has a perfect amount of bass when it comes to listening to rock music, pop. These are gonna, these are from, like, this is just my initial overview, but when it's to pop and rock, or like, or, uh, maybe not R&B, maybe pop and rock, these are gonna sound really amazing. Um, that's what I listen to besides rap and R&B, but I'm gonna get into what I hear from the rap and R&B part soon, which is right now. So I started some hip hop. First thing I listened to was, I believe, Little Baby Emotionally, Emotionally Scarred. And that was a song where I was like, okay, maybe these might not be the best headphones for hip hop, because the bass was not hitting, because the bass is not overpowering, it's not that strong. The Sony, you get that bass like this, you know, it's thumping, you hear it in your ears, I did have these at 50% volume, so maybe that was why, because I didn't want to put it up too high, because um, I just didn't feel like, listen, I didn't feel like hurting my ears at that point. But the bass was not that strong, and you know, when it comes to hip-hop and R&B, you want, you want that bass. A lot of that music is the bass, and that's where the most of it, uh, that's kind of where you get the glory of hip-hop music, is the bass. And it wasn't hitting, it was, I'll be honest with you, it wasn't hitting that strong with these headphones. The Box by Roddy Rich, when I listened to that, sounded pretty good, you know. Um, the, the 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 beats itself that the the notes was hitting really good. Roddy was hitting good. Um, again, the same bass thing. You know, it's not that powerful. And honestly, I'm okay with that. Cause I've been using bass heavy headphones for a long time. I would say. Cause I think there's a misconception that bass is good. A lot of bass is not that good. Sometimes, sometimes you just need like a good amount of bass to just listen to your music. But there's people out there who love bass heavy bass heavy headphones, and to those who love that. Congrats. I just don't. I've gone over the years to realize that bass, too much bass is, is just bad. And the, too much bass doesn't mean these headphones are good. It just means that it's a lot of bass. And it, as for some people, it's not good for me. And then I started to some one of my favorite artists over the last few years, like three years now, Billie Eilish. And her music sounded better than ever. Um, everything I wanted sounded amazing. It sounded so clear. It sounded like I was there in the studio listen to her sing it. Um, not only did that sound good, um, Come Out and Play, which is a song I don't listen to very often, sounded so freaking clear. I can't stress this enough, how clear it sounds. I can't even, I wish I could show you how clear these sound. 
if you do want to hear that check out um Brevis Brian, 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 he used to be on CNET. I'm gonna get his name, hold up. Brian Tong, he used to be on CNET, he used to do Apple Byte years, years ago, back in the days. Watch his review on the on these because he does a really in-depth comparison between these, some Bose headphones, Sony, some other headphones I've never heard of before. And he has like this machine where like you can hear what the headphones is is playing, and you can hear it, and, but oh my, it blew my mind away. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. You have to check that review out because honestly, I don't even think I could give a review that will be as substantial and as amazing that as that was. That was easily the best review I've seen of these headphones. Check it out, please. Now I'm gonna get into some more technical stuff that doesn't have to do with music. And let's talk about the active noise cancellation. So as I said before, I listened to these without listening to Sony's. I haven't listened to the Sony headphones yet in a while. I want to do a more of a comparison video in the future. I didn't want to do that in this video. I want to focus strictly on overviews because one thing too, I want to make this video a little bit more condensed because I, I do ramble a lot and I do talk a lot and my videos get extra long. I'm trying to keep it short and concise. Um, so active noise cancellation in these headphones. Once again, it blew me away. I honestly think that I have listened to the Sony's again. I'm going to them again to do a video. But on the first first time listening, I couldn't hear a thing. It, it was just as good as Sony's. I think I'll put them on par. Probably some parts is a little bit better, but I think where that's coming from is that I had a better seal on these. Cause it is, I think the weight of the, the air cups and the compression of it gives you a better seal. So it's more of a pressure on your ear and it blocks out more sound. Um, but it does have that pressure. So I know some people don't like the pressure of over the air nose cancer headphones. If that's the case, these probably just won't be for you because it is pretty heavy have, have, have in your ears and you do feel that compression. Um, and quite honestly, to me personally, it has way better noise canceling than these right here, which is the AirPods Pro. Uh, they are clean. <laughs> I wish they're clean. So the battery cut out <laughs> when I was recording half this video, but that's okay because I'm still here. <laughs> All right, so the last thing that I caught on video was I was talking about the noise cancellation and how. I think these are better than these right here, the AirPods Pro. Honestly, I think it comes down to the fact that these are over-the-air headphones. And to me, with over-the-air over headphones, just, they're just more space for more technology, more mics to pick up noise and cancel it out. Plus, I feel I personally get a better seal. Even though these do go straight into your ear, I don't think you get a better feel with these. Only because sometimes, you know, I try every single tip, um, all three, and there's times where the big ones work better and the small ones and the medium work better, and I could just never get that perfect fit. But with over-the-air headphones, it's easy. You just put them on, you adjust it to whatever head, size your head is, and that's it. And it's just so much simpler, and you get, to me, a better fit in that way. Now let's talk about the transparency mode. Honestly, to me, these are the best transparency mode you can ever find in the headphone. I thought it was way better than Sony's ambient mode, and I thought it was also better than the AirPods Pro transparency mode. Why? There's just something about it that uh, this is the advance, the, the advancement of Apple's technology from the AirPods Pro. You can hear everything around you, even small little sounds like rubbing my hands is, is enhanced, and I can hear it so clear. My voice is clear as day, it's crystal clear, and it's ridiculous how clear it is. I didn't expect it to be that clear. Um, the transparency mode is honestly the best. Like, you can hear everything. Like, it, I just never heard a transparency mode or ambient mode that sound this great until these headphones. And honestly, that's one thing that I can tell you from right now blue swing out the water and I will talk about that more in the upcoming comparison video and just to finish this off real quick we're gonna do a close-up of the headphones and talk about this stupid smart case all right so this is a smart case right here and the reason I call it stupid is because this case isn't really a case it's more of a phone holder you know we've seen the memes already online I'm not gonna go through all those memes but it doesn't protect your headphones and really what the functionality of this case for is just to act as what this is for the air for your airpods it holds them it puts them in a low battery mode because i don't believe they shut off and the only difference is that this could charge you cannot charge your headphones with this um but it does put it in a low battery mode with the magnets inside the case if they can figure out a way to have a case like this that charges your airpods your your max that would be honestly that i think that would be pretty amazing you know um, but for right now, this, this is just a case holder. It doesn't protect your headphones at all. Look, expose, expose. This whole thing's exposed. The bottom is exposed. You drop this. It's game over for these headphones.
Alright, so thank you for watching. This that's gonna wrap up this overview. Just wanna do a quick overview of the, of the AirPods Max and then soon I'm gonna do a comparison between the Sony's and the AirPods Max and then I'll do a full on review. Yes, I will do a review. This is the first time I'm doing an overview for product products, so I hope you enjoyed it. First time I'm seeing this camera angle. I'm trying out new things for the channel, but uh I hope you had a great holiday, um, and I hope you have a great new year. This year was tough, and but you know, hopefully this upcoming year is gonna be good for us. So let's hold on strong for the rest of the year, and uh, th thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you later. Peace.